If you have a digital mixer, you may be wondering what is the best use of a matrix. An audio matrix should be used anytime you need to create a slight variation of your main mix. The perfect example of this is setting a crossover for your mains and subs. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get it all set up using the X32. This video is brought to you by Behringer X32 Mastery, the fastest way for church sound techs to master the X32. And with a team license, you can enroll unlimited team members now and in the future. Finally, everyone will be on the same page. Visit x32.church or click the link in the description to learn more. An audio crossover is basically an EQ filter that enables you to split up the audio signal into two or more frequency ranges. In other words, with the crossover in place, you can send only the low frequencies to your subs and everything else to your mains. Modern powered speakers and amps will often have a built-in crossover. For example, the JBL SRX828, you can use the little display on the back to program a crossover at 60 hertz, 80 hertz, 100 hertz, or even connect it to your network and select a custom crossover setting. If your speakers don't have this capability or you simply want to program it all from your mixer, using a matrix mix is a great solution. So let me show you how to set it up on the X32. If you're using a different digital mixer that supports matrix mixes, this should also translate to your mixer as well. Step one, assign three matrix mixes to the correct outputs. You need three matrix mixes because you have main left, main right, and your subs. On the X32, navigate to the routing screen and select the out one through 16 tab. Find the output you're currently using for main left, most likely output 15, and set the output signal to matrix one. Then find the output you're using for main right, most likely output 16, and set the output signal to matrix two. Finally, find the output that you're using for your sub and assign the output signal to matrix three. Keep in mind, if you're currently using the same output as your mains for the sub, you'll need to use an open output and connect your sub accordingly. All right, step two, link matrix one and two. Since they'll be used for main left and main right, matrix one and two need to be linked as a stereo pair. To do this, select matrix one, navigate to the home screen and push the knob labeled link. All right, step three, route the main mix to the matrix mixes. To do this, navigate to the home screen, press the select button above the main mix fader. Now navigate to the sense tab and bring the level up for one, two, and three to zero dB. Step four, bring the matrix faders up to zero dB. To do this, press the matrix one through six button and bring up the faders for matrix one, two, and three to zero dB. Also, you'll wanna make sure that all three are not muted. All right, step five, apply a low cut filter to matrix one and two. Matrix one and two are used for your main speakers, so you'll need to cut out all the frequencies that go to the subs. To do this, select matrix one, navigate to the EQ screen. Activate EQ by pushing the button labeled equalizer. Select your low EQ filter and change the mode to low cut. Set the frequency to 100 Hertz or whatever makes sense for your system. All right, step six, apply a high cut filter to matrix three. Because matrix three is used for the subs, you'll need to cut out all the frequencies that go to your mains. To do this, select matrix three and navigate to the EQ screen. Activate the EQ by pushing the button labeled equalizer. Select the high EQ filter and change the mode to high cut. Set the frequency to 100 Hertz or whatever makes the most sense for your system. Keep in mind, 100 Hertz may or may not be the right frequency placement for your speakers, but it'll most likely be somewhere between 80 and 120 Hertz. If you can't find crossover documentation for your speakers, experiment between 80 and 120 Hertz range to find what sounds best. And well, you did it. And believe it or not, there are several other good uses for matrix mixes, and I have a video all about it. I'll include a link in the description. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'd be glad to answer. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up to let me know. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the little bell so that we can let you know when a new video comes out. I'll see you next time.